This is Pablo Navarrete reporting for the Canary from the Latin America 2018 conference. We've been running this conference now for 14 years. Over 500 people coming together, politicians, academics, trade unionists, all coming together to work in solidarity with the people of the continent. I think one thing recently which uh, really struck us definitely in Young Labour is um, the whole situation around Lula. Um, and we made Lula Young Labour's honorary president earlier this year because we felt it was really important that actually, um, you know, political leaders are being imprisoned and that's such a stark comparison to maybe what people think politics is in the UK. I think that one of the big problems that uh, leftists progressive political processes encounter is the media coverage that we get abroad. Um, a lot of it is unfair uh, and a lot of the journalists, some of them are more responsible than others and take an ideological position, but others just get fed information from the Latin American corporate media. And the Latin American corporate media feeds information to the European corporate media and then you get a general portrayal of our processes which is pretty erroneous quite biased, usually right-wing. Tomou uma decisão que entra para a história das grandes injustiças. Os senadores que votaram pelo impeachment. British MPs, you know, there's a group of MPs that have for very many years followed closely um, the human rights issues and the development of the peace process in Colombia. And I think they have a role to play, really, in making sure that the international community keeps this on the agenda and makes sure that this historic opportunity for peace isn't lost. With clear I think under uh, Jeremy Corbyn and Labour government, our foreign policy would be uh, 180 degrees different to the present administration. We would have a genuine ethical foreign policy. And one of the great innovations of Jeremy Corbyn is to appoint a shadow minister for peace and disarmament. And I think that will have a huge uh, impact when we're in government, have an actual minister for peace and disarmament. And that will be incredibly beneficial, I think, in terms of our relationships with uh, Latin America. And so certainly what we would be doing is not hanging on to the coattails of any passing US administration. We'd be setting out our own uh, course, as it were, uh, and, uh, and hope to you know, set a trend around the world.